Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to this platform. Kaka, I have always said I don't want to brag. But once I come here to speak something, you might see it as a propaganda. But I do my research. Yesterday on Sunday, <clears throat> When I noticed that William Ruto is not in church, I went through his Facebook page to find if he has attended a church service anywhere. I couldn't find anything. I went back to regard the Gashawa's page to find out if indeed he attended a church. I couldn't find anything. Raila spends time in church on Sundays. But I tried to research. I called some guys in Azimio who are close to me. And I asked them, has Raila gone to church? They told me, Raila, we don't know where he is. But then, Mother Karua, Kalonzo Msioka, and the rest, Kina Jeremiah Kioni, are in church in Ruiru, as we speak. Yes, I confirmed because they streamed live on Facebook. Now, my question, I started suspecting. For the first time in history, Ruto has never missed church while in Kenya. But yesterday, he did. There was no statement from State House. There was nothing. No one was talking about it. I got suspicious. I came here. I did a video and told you, Ruto is not in church. Ladies and gentlemen, I even analyzed the verse he posted. And I asked you, who is suffering? Kumbe, the president is suffering. Yesterday was a unique day for Kenya. Every... Any person who sees politics from a third eye, you could tell what was happening yesterday. It, it was too loud and seen from people. But now, it is emerging from a reliable source. A person we cannot doubt that yesterday, William Ruto avoided church. Raila Odinga avoided church. The two of them, without involving anyone, just the two of them, Raila and Ruto, traveled to Masai Mara. Wakiwa wangapi, the two of them. They traveled to Masai Mara. They sat down. Wangapi, the two of them. Wakazungumza, in a meeting, they discussed widely on matters affecting Kenya. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes in politics, we supporters, we might see kwamba someone has betrayed us. We might see that, oh, I don't know, but, you know, Peace comes first in any nation. Peace inapewa kipaumbele in any country. So walikutana jana wa will, it's confirmed. This is not propaganda, no. It is confirmed, yes. Raila Odinga and William Ruto walikutana jana, confirmed. They met in Masai Mara. Narok County, Wakaketi, Wakakunya Chai Pamoja, Wakakula Pamoja. They spoke, they shared. Then they agreed to call for a presser. After Kuongea, Wakasema Sasa, Kenyans must know our way forward. After these talks, Kenyans must know what will be done next. 
mnakumbuka nikiwaambia Ruto is preparing the office of the opposition the official office of the opposition mnakumbuka do you remember ama mumesahau niliwaambia Ruto is in the process of creating an official office of the opposition leader fully funded sitaki kuingia kwa hiyo time will tell when such a time comes nitakuja hapa tukumbushane but for now let it rest because it rested by then now walipozungumza kwa undani wakasema let's go back to nairobi we brief our friends then tukuja kwa press conference ruto akatoka raila akatoka ruto akakuja paka state house I suspected the manner in which regarding a shower rest yesterday is a man who was somewhere doing his own things akapigwa simu akaambiwa koja so he ran to state house akaambiwa ndugu yangu nao keti hapa rigadi that is ruto akaambia rigadi my brother there comes a time when ego doesn't pay there comes a time when ego brings destruction as i speak with you i am from a meeting with raila molo dinga and we have agreed on a number of issues number one, this is it we are going to employ a bipartisan approach as we move forward to building a better kenya So kitu nafanya rigiji hata kama hauna suit hata kama umetoka kwa kucheza mpira tafadhali tutoke pale nje kuna podium tufanye presser na maswali mengine utaniuliza baadaye tunaelewana rigaji akasema yes sir wakati alisema yes sir Ruto akaita Hussein akamwambia Hussein prepare a speech for me and focus on a b c d then Weka podi amwe hapo nje piga picha. Ambia wa Kenya ninazungumza. Wakapiga picha, waka post, wakasema in a few minutes. Raila on his part akaenda akaita council yake, akaita Mada Karua, akaitisha Wajakoya, akaitisha Jeremia Kioni, akaitisha Oparanya, akaitisha Yuini wa Malwa na a few close individuals akaambia my friends there comes a time when maandamano doesn't really help okay maandamano helps but there comes a time when wakati watu wameomba msamaha wanasamehewa so ndugu zanguni as i speak with you i'm from a meeting with william ruto mzee ameshuka chini Zakayo ameteremuka tumekutana masa imara na tumesema amani ni kitu cha maana katika taifa letu la Kenya and it supersedes anything else so ndugu zanguni tumeongea na Ruto and we have agreed to employ a bipartisan approach towards discussing other issues going forward In my previous video niliwaeleza bipartisan means what. So wakaelewana. If you noticed a presser ya jana. Mada Karua's face, Jeremiah Kioni's face tells it all that these are people who were informed shortly to the presser. Wakaambiwa there's nothing we can do. Ruta ameomba msamaha ndugu. Tumsamee kesho tuachane na story ya maandamano tusikia anasema nini so wakaelewana wakasema going forward tuweka maandamano kando na tuendelee na kazi nyingine they agreed now sit down they drafted a press statement wakaambia press team piga podi ya mpicha weka pale nje ambia watu in a few tunakuja wakarudi ndani ya nyumba wakaandika wakaandika script wakamaliza wakatoka wakazungumza Now Ruto is not in charge. Raila is not in charge. Ruto ameitisha press 
Raila ametisha presa 6. Hata kama wewe ni mujinga kiasi gani? Hata wewe ni ni ni, ni, ni danda head kiasi gani? You couldn't suspect anything yesterday. I'm asking. But I want to talk to Azimio. I want to talk to Azimio. There comes a time when Kenya is more important than anyone else. There comes a time. And um, when that time comes, we only ask Raila to put our interests first. As she cleared the cost of living, when the server haita funguliwa because wakati wamefika kiwango cha bipartisan it means agenda ya server sasa imekufa that's a reality kaka mimi sipendi kupembeleza watu ninakuambia ukweli ukweli ukuume au ukupendeze so i'm not here to make you happy i'm here to tell you the reality so as we speak agenda ya server weka katika kaburi la sahau. Huo ndio kweli wa maneno. Story ya saba wachana nayo. Azimio, story ya saba wacha ikufe. It has already died. Now the stories we remain with are only two. Appointment of BC commissioners which route has agreed into it and finding ways on how to lower the cost of living. That is when by parts and means Raila will bring suggestions on how Ruto is going to manage the cost of living. And Ruto will also bring suggestions wakae kwa meza, wazilete, wazungumze. That is what you call pie partisan. Tulitoka kwa cooperation, tukakuja kwa nusu mkate, tukakuja kwa handshake, sasa tuko pie partisan. Hilo jina andika somewhere pie partisan. We shall be singing that name for the next a couple of years. So andika somewhere pai partisan Mimi si wabembelezi wao ndio kwale wa maneno Salute to baba Raila always makes wise decisions So whatever Raila has decided we know is for our own interest we respect it we honor it and we are behind the baba fully Mikono miguu mapua macho midomo Nywele, nguo na hata zile zingine tuko na baba tuko nyuma yake akienda kombo tunambia baba hey! hapo hapana hapo hapana so we are behind Raila let us all support this cause of bipartisan and we build Kenya mimi nimekuwa nikiwambia tuko na vizazi vinakuja vinatutegemea so let's a gentleman when IBC will be corrected which route has agreed it means we will be correcting the 2022 mess in 2027 so we are correcting the mess it should not repeat itself in 2020 statesmanship is putting down differences and agree to move the nation forward god bless you asanteni sana see you in the next video mimi niko kwa baba na sitoki asanteni sana